Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox game development video. Uh, last time we were working on getting this guy prepped for animation, so today we're going to start actually animating him. I am finally back from my very, very long vacation to uh, California. So we are going to... We're going to get back to work here. We are going to make more videos than ever. We are going to... We are going to get this guy to return to normal somehow. Uh, delete keyframe. Okay, perfect. So we're trying to get this guy to walk. So we will start off uh, normally walking animation. Good length should be 0 0.5, I think. Let's just go to the middle here. We'll just set all of his limbs. Go back. Okay, I don't want to do that. All right, let's do this. Move this back. But yeah, we went to California. That was that was pretty good. Uh, so old friends, family, and then realized that you gotta pay for plastic bags, which sucks, and you, all the straws are made of paper, and the country is essentially, or the, the state's essentially falling apart. It's pretty, pretty horrible, but I mean, San Diego was nice, so, you know, the beaches are still there, so, I mean, it was kind of cold, but it was less cold than Maryland, at least. Okay, why, why do you jump like that? It's annoying. Okay. Make his head, like, bob a little bit as he walks. Okay. I think that should be good. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't move at all. Okay, so we need keyframes for everything. How can I do that? So, starting off here, I want everything to be default. Okay. I need this to stop rotating like that. But yeah, I had these videos like pre-recorded and I did not have nearly enough footage to cover my whole vacation. So there was a little bit of a break, like a whole week break. I should have spaced those videos out further, but you know, I was too excited to see the uh, the comments essentially. essentially. Uh, okay, that should be good. And yeah, now he, he moves. Let's make this... Can we move like this whole keyframe? Yeah, we can. Okay, so move that there. And then here. So essentially, I'm just going to do like two keyframes for this guy because Roblox will make everything move like automatically. Okay, move that back. So this would be a fairly simple animation. I really want to get started on like the map design because people were saying in the comments like you should start with the map. And I agree. I just kind of started with this guy because I fell back to what I'm comfortable with, which is just making npcs because that's all i ever do and now i'm outside my comfort zone and it's annoying how do i make this loop i want it to loop toggle looping okay there we go hmm okay so we need to do that keyframe let's see can we like copy this copy keyframe and then we want to paste it at the end oh we can just add keyframe no that, that's not what i want Okay, and then I, I was using that uh, that animation tool, or that character creator tool, and it turns out it's actually really good. I was just using it wrong. This is like, it's too fast, isn't it? It looks like he's like, yeah, it's like really fast. Hmm. Alright, maybe we should make this... A little bit longer. I do like the head bobbing. Okay. I want more. I want more head bobbing. Let's see. Let's go here. We we'll go up a little bit. All right. So let's let's look at these keyframes here. Let's go here. So his arm is pretty far forward. Let's see. Let's see, get it. I don't know why it's like tweaking out like that. It's weird. Okay. So let's put his feet a little bit further forward. Why is it moving everything? That's, what the hell? Oh, it's because I have everything selected at once. Oh God, why is that even a thing? Why would I want to do that? Okay, it's like, yes, just edit the entire character in one fail swoop. Okay, so get this back here. Okay, that might be too much. Okay, I want to make sure I don't select every single key point here. All right, so let's look at this. I'm going to stop doing that. 
All right, so here, teleport back. Okay, good. And again, I have everything selected and obnoxious. Okay, over here. As you can tell, I'm not a natural editor. Normally, I just use pre-made animations, but this guy's custom. Can we like? Can we? If we make the torso move a little bit, I think this will look a little bit more natural. Let's see. Can we do that? I don't want to like move the whole guy, but I want. What am I grabbing onto? That is the torso. Okay, let's do that. And then we're gonna have him like tilt the other way, so he's not just completely still. And then we need to add like a keyframe for the torso. Let's see that a little bit. Okay, there. Oh, maybe I can just like let's see, go over here. Can I just add a keyframe so I don't have to do that? Let's see, add key here. Okay, and we want to reset selected. Okay, good. All right, great. Left lower arm doesn't matter. Okay. It looks like he's, like, limping, but, I mean, let's see. It's because, like, the torso... Oh, God. Yeah, the autosaves have been lagging so hard for some reason for me. Okay, so we want to grab the torso. And don't worry, the scripting, guys, is coming soon. So I know a lot of you guys are the scripting boys. I'm a scripting boy. I don't... I hate building, but, you know, we got to do some building before we get to the fun part. Okay. All right, that's that's better. All right. I think the head is like so like just look down and then over here you're going to look up. Where is the head? Here, head. Oh, do I have it kind of rotated here? Oh, it's cuz the torso rotates, right? Okay. All right, how about this? I mean, it really looks like he's moving now. I think I don't have the torso rotating enough to the on the first one there, so it looks like he's like limping on one side. So we need it to be more symmetrical. So here, yeah, I think I have it facing like the same way, don't I? Yeah, okay, I see. All right, so this can go this way, and then he will go the other way, okay. Yeah, that's like too much though. Okay, we need to like make this less extreme. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, so this, we're gonna rotate just a tiny bit. And same thing with this keyframe. Bring it a little bit more back. So he moves a little bit, but we don't, he looks like he's limping. Again, he looks like he's limping. Hmm. And it is it is pretty fast, right? It is. Why does he look like he's limping? I'm guessing it's because it's because his head's like coming up so much. Maybe we can make the head come down lower here. Let's see. Bring the head down. And then also, guys, I do have another uh, NPC scripting tutorial that'll come out in a few days. Like today, probably tomorrow, I think I should have it released, or the day after tomorrow. But I am working on, like, a bazooka soldier guy, so that'll be, it's pretty good so far. Um, so you have that to look forward to, but until then, you just got this sweet dinosaur guy to deal with. Okay, so I think that's better. Yeah, I like that a lot more. It doesn't look like he's, like, limping as much but he moves quite a bit. Yeah, I do like that. Maybe we should add like some animation to like his tail or something. Maybe we'll do that eventually. Let's, I don't wanna do too much. I don't wanna do the entire episode being animation. Okay, so now we gotta export this so we can actually apply it. And then we can make this guy walk around and then we can do some map design, hopefully. We can do like five minutes of map design. If this thing ever loads. Okay, finally, finally it appears. All right, so create new. 
Okay, so create new. This is called lizard walking. Description is just walking. Finish. Okay. I go ahead and pull that um pull that onto our game here. All right, so we can go ahead and delete that and this. Get a animation in here. Let's call it walking. Okay, I need like a base animation to go off of here. Um, let's see. I'll just pull my character animation. Let's see. All right. Kangaroo Jack. Animate. Cheer. Why not? All right. I just need this URL so I can just edit it real quick and put the lizard. Okay. So walking. Paste this, and then we're pulling the um, ID from what we just uploaded onto here. Okay. Okay. All right. So now this guy should um, should be able to have a walking animation in him. Hopefully. All right. So we'll name the script animation. Okay. We do local my human equals script parent child humanoid we'll do my human dot walking oh no I believe it's actually no it's running connect speed I believe connect function speed if speed is greater than zero then we gotta play that animation let's go ahead and call that animation so we'll do local uh, walking equals script dot parent Wait for child walking and then we'll do local walking animation equals my human load animation walking walking animation we gotta set the priority anim dot animation priority dot movement okay there everything should work fine now <laughs> oh man oh man he moves but he like he tweaks out so much though yeah we shouldn't have done that to his torso okay well back to the drawing board real quick here I guess we're not gonna do any map development because this animation is taking way longer than I thought okay well I don't want to create uh, let's import lizard walking okay let's just we're gonna scrap that whole torso movement thing let's see can i just what keyframe do i have selected torso delete keyframe torso delete keyframe okay it should be just straight look straight to me all right now we can just export this over our old animation okay that's updated so we we should be able to run this hopefully and it shouldn't do that now oh yikes why does he's kind of like he's still tweaking out it might be because of his feet it probably is because of his feet so we probably got to set his like feet and stuff to be like can collide equals false so let's see do this 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 and this and we will set can collide to false let's see if that that helps Yeah, yeah, okay. That's better. All right, and we got to set the uh, humanoid, like, hip to be a bit higher also. So let's see. There's a setting in here called, like, hip height or something like that. Uh, here it is, hip height. Um, so this is how far off the ground it is. Let's try two, and then we'll just mess around with it. Yeah, two is a bit high. Let's disable this script so we can mess around with this in game. Get the perfect thing. Okay, so yeah, two is way too high. Let's try like 1.7 is too high. Maybe it's 1.5. Looks better. Almost there. 1.3. Okay, a little bit higher. Four. Okay. We need 1.4 for the root or the uh, hip height. So 1.4. Now, if we re-enable this script here, yeah, do that. 
And let's make this base plate a little bit bigger also. We're going to be replacing all this with uh, terrain anyways. So it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I started <laughs> with these, these parts. But every good game now uses terrain. So that's the new meta. So we'll follow the meta. And it is going to be great. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, now he... Now he walks. Now he's now he's alive. Great. We'll have to make uh, some like attacking animations, jumping animations, and all that stuff as well with him. But um, let's see. We got like we got a little bit more time in this video here, so let's go ahead and get some terrain created. So let's shrink this back down. Um, I'm gonna have multiple maps, and I'm not I'm not really sure if you can like spawn terrain or like make terrain be invisible so i can switch maps around or if i just have to have all the terrain like in the same uh workspace let's see maybe i can just do generate medium seed mountains plains hills i mean this sounds pretty good can i just generate a map it's working oh my god really is this easy Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, then, I'm going to go update all my games with terrain, then, because I had no idea it took, like, five seconds to generate an entire map. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. This is way too big. First off, yeah, this is humongous. Do I want the map to be this big? I don't think so. And there's water. I don't think I want there to be water. Okay, can I... How do I undo this? I do that? Okay, yeah. Alright, well, let's get all these things and move them up because obviously this terrain is higher than I had hoped. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, so we'll do map size small, uh, biome size small, mountains, plains. I have rivers unchecked, which is, I don't know why it has. Let's have canyons in there too. Marsh, dunes, oh hell yeah, give me everything. Arctic, no, we don't want Arctic yet. Yeah, one what? we'll save those for different maps. Okay, so start. Okay. Yeah, this is more, yeah, this is more of a map size I had hoped for, okay. Why do I have everything locked? It's, oh, I don't. I just didn't have the tool. Okay, let's put the spawn location down there. And we will start moving our things. We don't need this figure anymore. We're done with that. We got the lizard man. Pretty much good. Let's put him on the spawn. Delete this. Delete that. We don't need those anymore. Uh, delete this shit. Okay, now. This is the beginning of our game. We gotta build some, like, buildings and stuff. Um, I think next episode I'm gonna work on the... Um, probably the camera or something like that or get like the first character because you're not going to play as a default roblox character in this game you're going to pick a character like a class and then play as that so we'll create the first class next episode so um i would like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time